Hello and welcome to another episode of Quick Cuts. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your prism cut for accurate contour cutting and then we're going to follow that up with a print and cut design inside Vinyl Master. What I'm about to show you can be done in every single version of Vinyl Master that we offer and it can be done with any size prism cut. The prism cut is different from all of the other cutters that we offer here at US Cutter because it's using a camera to scan the registration marks and that's going to give it some amazing accuracy. Let's go ahead and start first with showing you how to calibrate the prism cut and to do that we're going to need to insert the pen tool. If this is your first time using the pen tool with the prism cut, make sure you remove the wax covering from the pen tip uh, because that's on there to keep the ink fresh. For this example I'm going to be using a normal sheet of paper and I'm going to put it in long ways. And then I'm going to set the origin point to the center of the sheet of paper using the arrow keys that are located on the touch screen on the front of the prism cut. Once the pin is in the correct position, we want to go back to the front panel and start the test. Now to do this, you're going to need to be in the advanced mode or the calibration option isn't going to be available. You can swap between basic and advanced anytime by pushing the button that is located in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. From there, you want to go to settings, advanced settings, calibration, and then finally we want to hit reg mark camera. If it's dark in your house, you will want to turn on the light in this menu. But other than that, because we've already set the origin point in the middle of the sheet of paper, we can go ahead and press start. This will start the prism cut up and it will draw some little squares for it to scan. Once it's done, the picture that it took will show up on screen and it's going to put a red little crosshair in the area that it thinks is in the center of the image. It may be perfect for you or it might be close enough for you, but for me, I'm a perfectionist and I'm going to move it right into the center by using the arrow keys that appear down below and then when I'm happy, I'm going to press OK. If needed, I could also zoom in, but I didn't need to do that. With the press of the OK button, we are done and the machine is calibrated. Now let's go ahead and move over to Vinyl Master and show you how to set up and perform that cut. Once inside of Vinyl Master, you can see that I've already got my image loaded and positioned in the center of the page. I'm using an SVG file and this sugar skull here you can find uh, in our newsletter next week, so make sure you sign up for that. I'll put a link in the description down below. First thing you want to do is select your image that you want to perform the contour cut around. And once you select it, you're going to see these boxes appear around the outside of your image. Then once you see that, you want to move up to the upper toolbar and select the contour cut apple from there. And then that's going to bring down two options. And then you want to select the top option that reads create cut contour. This is going to bring up a pop up window that will allow us to place the contour line around the outside of the skull. We've got a thick outline here, so I'm going to be moving the contour inside that line so that the sticker or transfer or paper or whatever doesn't have any white edges. Once happy with the position of the contour cut, I'm going to click accept and I'll be able to see the contour cut line on my main Final Master page now. With both the image and contour cut line selected, I want to go back to the upper toolbar and click the contour cut apple again and then select the second option that's called contour cut wizard. We want to make sure that we have the correct vinyl cutter selected. As you can see, I was using the laser point three last time and I'm going to do that right here and select the prism cut right down below that. You can select some different type of registration marks. Some people may want to use something that uses less ink and you can see that you've got a couple different options here with the prism cut. I'm going to be using a normal desktop printer so I've got print direct selected and that's going to allow me to select my laser printer from all my printers that I have installed right here. You can see I've got a lot. What if you wanted to print on a wide format printer? Well then that's when you would save it as a .pdf file and then load the PDF file in your RIP software and print it out in your printer. But I'm going to have to tackle that process in detail in another video that's coming up soon. So for now, we're just going to use our local desktop printer with normal paper. Once it's done printing, you're going to notice that the print button changed into the cut button. And when you press the cut button, it's going to open up a separate window that's going to provide you with instructions on how to load it into the cutter. For my example, I'm using an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper. So I'm going to need to put it on the old sticky backer carrier sheet. Now you can see that it has an X right in the corner of the registration mark here on the screen. So I want to make sure that I put the tip of the blade in that exact spot. I'm going to get even closer and show you. You can see that when I'm pushing down on the top of the blade holder, that the blade is going down right into the little corner of the registration mark. If we were using the other registration marks that the prism cut can work with, then it would be like in the center of the dot. Once we're happy with that, we're going to go back to our computer and in Vinyl Master, and then we're going to click the next button. And then that's going to start your vinyl cutter. You're going to see that it's going to move to scan each mark individually if loaded correctly. If it doesn't, it's going to turn the LED red and it's going to start beeping at you. 
If that happens, just restart, reload, and reposition everything and give it another try. Congratulations, you did a contour cut. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. If you have any questions, you can contact our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. They're happy to answer any questions you have. And every single item that we sell here at US Cutter comes with lifetime support. And you can reach the support agents by emailing them at support at uscutter.com. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a wonderful day.